caption. I was asking about that because I know that that's an that is one option. So, or if you want to post it back to your Facebook page, because that was the other piece that I was looking at. Is a lot of places are doing Facebook Lives, but they're not like they're not captions that they can post it. Um, it's my understanding that Facebook has a captioning feature. And so for the first one, we're going to test it out and okay. see if, if we can fill or not. And then we're going to adapt from there. Okay. Um, Carrie, sorry, this is Joel again. Um, if you would like, since Samantha and I have been doing a lot of the captioning, we would be, I would be more than happy. I don't want to volunteer Samantha without talking to her, but I'd be more than happy to show um people how to do the captioning on your facebook live videos and your videos and your pictures okay so let's um yeah i will we'll get something figured out <laughs> this is like this is all new territory um and I was putting together a bunch of resources and everybody does know now that through the university, all of our, anybody with a net ID can get a, um, a Zoom account, like the Zoom Pro, so it doesn't have to be the 40 minutes and um, it doesn't have to be the 40 minutes with a certain number of people on it. So I just wanted everybody to be aware of that. Now, volunteers cannot but you as staff and then you could schedule those zoom meetings for them if you wanted to um the only thing you want to make sure when you do that like you know you don't have to be on all those meetings if you notice a lot of like sometimes i'm not on the meetings that happen they're scheduled through mine you can set it so it um people can join before the host and then um the, you know um and then you can, um, you know, and then that way you don't have to be at every single club meeting because, you know, just like we don't expect you to travel to every single club meeting every single month, it's the same type of thing. So, yeah, and yes, you're right, Liz, you can post pictures as long as they don't have words. Yeah, you should try to have some kind of caption about what the picture is about, but, you know, something in your, you know, in your post, but. Links seem to be okay. It's just not the like actual picture of words. Right. Yeah. Yeah. If you are, um, yeah, you can set it up, Alex. If you're, you know, you can, when you're setting it up, you can set it up to where you can click a button that says enable to enter before host. And that means that you can do it without the host being there. Or you could jump on, and I've done this before where I've jumped on, made someone else a host, and then I've left. The meeting so um yeah like i said this is a whole new world for all of us uh but it's a good you know i think it's good that we think outside the box so so we have some using zoom and facebook live um other other things that we've thought about has anybody participated in some of the, what the other states are doing like I know Arizona was doing the quarantine, which I thought was kind of a cool idea. Um, oh, that reminds me, there's another one that I needed to find. I know down here, Carrie, uh, our fair obviously got canceled. And so we found a few contests that the kids could join, one in like creative writing and one in photography. Mm -hmm. So, um, Luis is getting ready to do a photography project online and they could enter into that contest um, as well. We cited the um, creative writing curriculum from 4-H Mall and encourage people to go through that and participate in the contest that way. Yeah. If, if some of you are, um, just so you know, Kenny has Jasper with him. <laughs> so you can see the baby. Sorry. I just had to, you know. Um, but yeah, I think that's, those are great ideas. And we can do some of those. Um, 
some of the, you know, I mean, I think it'd be great if people have ideas that they want, that we want to do statewide, let me know. Um, you know, if you come up with some great ideas that we can share statewide, I think that would be cool. Or counties, you know, it'd be great. Um, I just haven't had a chance to get anything pulled together. That's kind of what I'm, you know, you guys are the creative ones. <laughs> so I like the, you know, other thoughts yeah and i think it'd be great if, if you guys can ask your leaders and your volunteer or your members and your volunteers to share ideas um they they're the ones that are going to get super creative so some of the ones that i found i'm going to go back and find that document um most of you you know there's a lot of states that have these learn by doing at home pages so I did put most of those. Washington has got a really good, they've gone through kind of did the same thing, but even more in depth. So that one I want to point out to, um, there's a lot of these are some of those virtual, the virtual art camp. Um, I think that one's a really, from Texas, that's actually a district in Texas, so a region in Texas, but they're opening it up statewide. Um, there's also, I found a couple, like Louisiana has a really good article about keeping your children safe while they're home alone that I wanted to share with people. Um, the other one is, what was the other one? Um, oh, Mississippi has a 14 day shopping and meal plan document that I thought was good too. Um, so, you know, like I said, and then, uh, Michigan has a home alone safety safely doc or um, website. So, and then the other one, like I said, I pulled out NASA. Um, some of you are familiar. I know there's a couple people that are familiar with the ex um, exemplary skills for life, and those were basically um, some of the same skills that the astronauts have to learn that they were put together some of the same it's the same the same skills that the astronauts have to have to go up in space we worked with them oh gosh it's probably been about three years ago now worked with nasa to create this website where you're teaching them the same teaching young people the same skills so there's lesson plans for those so they're not just you know most of what i found is a lot of stem activities that they can do at home a lot of those things but this one's actually some life skills that they can do at home so that one, and then again, you know, um, the virtual, you know, and lots of, lots of pieces. So, but I just wanted, yeah, I just thought we at least have those. Um, and what I can do if you, uh, you know, we can keep this list ongoing. So as you get ideas, send them and I can add them to the list. I think that would be great. We've got a couple of things from Nevada that I just realized I didn't. Um... Gary, we, um, Carla put together a list of stuff she found. We'll send it to you if you want to add it to that list in case there's anything different. Yeah, that would be great. Okay. Will be you great. send it to her, Carla? Yep. And Sandy, I'm going to be emailing that list out. I'll also put it in the Nevada box. So that way you guys, um, you guys, yeah, there's my, yeah. And I will, I will do the, I, what I'll do is go through the state page and I will post the links so everybody can share them. I think that'll, you know, I'll do a couple, I'll schedule them out through this week. <laughs> like I'll do that today and then that way you guys can share them throughout the, throughout the week. Um, but then, you know, feel free to grab any others that you want to do. And I will tell you, most of the states are really, like we've all been sharing ideas back and forth. And so if you find something on another state website, another state Facebook page or website, please don't, you know, 
we're all sharing these resources. So make, you know, it's, it's okay to utilize it. <laughs> so, because I, you know, we all have to, we're all in this together and everybody's learning from each other. So. Carrie, a couple of the show feeds, um, they're putting on virtual clinics too. Okay. I can't remember which ones they were, but I have them like screenshot when I found them. And then um, through Cornell, it's called Small Farm University. They're giving um, free classes right now on like how to manage your animals, how to plant it out, um, how to grow vegetables, how to, you know, soil health, all that kind of stuff as well. And I can send those links over. Okay. That would be great. Yeah. As, as all of you know, you know, trying to do all of this while you're dealing with the home stuff, <laughs> when we're all working from home, you know, it's like trying to get stuff. Yeah. Um, oh, good. There's an international rabbit show. Yeah. I think that we're, you know, everybody's kind of, we're getting there. Um, you know, and I will let you know to, um, we are in this, you know, we aren't going to make any decisions about camp until at least the 15th of, you know, until the middle of April. Um, there's no way we can make any decisions. So if anybody asks you about camp, we are moving forward like we're having camp. Um, and then we've also had a lot of groups from the June camps that have been emailing us and asking and, you know, I've pretty much been telling them the exact same things is you know we can't make any decisions until i think until at least this 30 days is over and we know more so i've been trying to watch both the president's updates every day as well as the governor's updates <laughs> when he does his updates and then watching everything else the cdc website so yeah there's you know virtual um I know a lot of, you know, if you're in the South, a lot of county fairs, just like Clark County has been canceled. And I've been trying to gather ways just in case, you know, things happen, um, you know, what other states are doing for their livestock. You know, more than anything, the market animals that are, you know, that they end up having and they can't sell. So trying to figure out some ideas there. Um, I don't have anything, you know, that one I'm not going to publish at this point, but, you know, it's something we have to think about um, moving forward. Most of our fairs probably won't be affected, you know, we, NJLS is moving forward, you know, right now they're not planning, I, I don't know if any of you saw the email this morning, they are not planning on canceling, um, so, but it's always good to have it in the back of your mind. It's, so kind of like the school districts, um, 16 of the 17 school districts were on, were ready for the virtual learning. They had already had sort of a plan put together and they've already had them approved by the university. So we will, um, you know, and um, can I ask Sarah, or how are you all doing? Like, how does that work with the, um, with the livestock show? Are you, like are are four H people going to it, or are we are they not allowed to go to it as part of their job, or just because you know over here they're they're still doing it and they said it's not part of anything, but they they're asking for our opinions or how what we think, and I'm not sure we're gonna talk to them, but I just don't know how much we can commit to help them if we're not supposed to be you know work like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> right now, um, right now, I know like your guys's livestock show is still a go, but it is not a 4-H sanctioned event. And so, you know, that would mean that they're, they need to be doing it. Um, Actually, update, they, they've canceled it. They okay. are either, well, they're debating on whether to postpone it, um, but a lot of families are just selling their animals. You know, yeah. online, some people have already found buyers and they're just doing it that way. Okay. When did that happen, Karen? When was, when did you see that? Um, it was probably right after our training. 
on Wednesday, so probably Wednesday. because I got an email from Maryland Kirkpatrick's office asking for ideas on how to do this, and so I feel like they're still trying to do something. Okay, well, uh, we'll talk, but because uh, yeah. uh, you're still involved in over there, right, Sarah? Yeah, Sarah, does, I don't think she has sound today. Their oh, okay. internet is all goofy, <laughs> so okay. They are, they're under construction at their office. Um, I will say, you know, it is an interesting time. You know, I know one of the counties, not just Clark County, but one of our counties had a, had a show scheduled for mid April and they made the decision to cancel it um, because, you know, it was gonna be more people. And so we do need to start thinking those things that are in April and, and May just kind of, thinking in the backs of our minds what our contingency plans are for those for those events. So, yeah. Yep, NJLS is having a board meeting tonight to discuss the show and what's what's going to happen with it. So, I don't think you guys aren't making a decision tonight though. It's like I don't feel like we can make decisions for the even things in May yet. Um, yeah, keeping an eye on Capital City Farm Days, all of those things are um, events that we have to start thinking about. And it's not fun. <laughs> it's not a good time. So I know that completely. And I believe me, last week I went round and around about what to do with the 4 H program because, you know, we have so many things, you know. Children don't have any place to go right now. And, but I also, we have to, you know, we have to squelch this. So, yeah. Yeah, and so I know um, we have things for the end of April. Liz has made, they scheduled, they rescheduled their county livestock judging. Hopefully, like I said, we're going week by week at this point. I don't know what else we can do because we have to watch see what if the spread is slowing down. So, yeah. Um, and Sandy, that's one thing. My probably it will be either postponed or canceled for Douglas County because that goes beyond or that's during that time that we had said we wanted to you know we were going to wait or start back up looking at right now april 20th so i will get a hold of shannon and figure out what we're going to do with that i'll send that note out so yep all the fun stuff Okay. Yeah, and Sarah is the location for state livestock judging quiz bowl and skillathon. So that's the other piece. I'm kind of what I may try to join tonight via phone, Sarah, um, to look at what's discussed on that. So, because we are planning on doing um, the state contest at that time. I'm getting all of the entry forms ready. <laughs> so that way we can, you know, get them sent out if we need, you know, but. We will get there. Any other thoughts, comments, ideas? Carrie, I had a quick thought to share. Um, and I don't, I'm sure you guys have thought about this, but I think what we're providing to our families in terms of, oh, here's all these great resources. Keep in mind too, they've been inundated with just a ton of stuff, worrying about homeschooling and, and, and all these things. So don't discount the importance of like your own contacts with with your people like we're the reason why i am i usually attend most of our club meetings anyway just because it was a resource but it's important for them to see that we're still out there working and they should still continue like working on their projects so i'm communicating with people via zoom and i really miss like my 4-h after school kids and so i'm putting together videos of okay this is the activity we're going to do this day you know here's me demonstrating it because it's you you're their person they know you as opposed to some here's a link on the internet and now you need a credit card. I'm just saying don't discount the importance of them seeing us on the front lines working still. 
Definitely. And one of the things I was reading this morning about virtually working from home, especially those that are used to having an office, um, you know, an office environment is doing uh, virtual conference, virtual um, coffee hours, coffee breaks. And, you know, that might be something you want to do within your county, you know, like once every couple of weeks, just do a virtual coffee break or whatever you want to call it with your with your volunteers and check in with them, see how things are going, make sure, you know, and not necessarily talk about all the 4-H stuff that we do, but make sure they're, you know, like, how's everything going in your family is, you know, are you going stir crazy yet? Are you, you know, those like, because we are meeting virtually, that's why, you know, I mean, when I started the call, how's everybody doing, you know, working? As, as Alex said, we all now to get to see each other's homes. You get to see my spare bedroom, you know, the wall in my spare bedroom. But, you know, that's always, you know, it's, it's just a unique situation that we're in. And I think it is good. I like that idea, Alex, of checking in with them, making sure everything's doing okay. If you have emails for your families, just say, hey, you know, I know it's still some tough times. Let's, you know, just check in. Do, you know, how's everything going? Are you having fun? <laughs> Are you ready to, you know, they keep saying it's either going to be a high birth rate in about December or a high divorce rate in December. <laughs> so I was like, yeah. So, yeah. Yep, I'm gonna try to do some um, things on Facebook too. Like, hey, I'm just checking to see how everybody's doing, you know, share one thing, you know, one exciting thing that you've learned, you know, like trying to do some of that check-in with people as well. Um, you know, I, we don't tend to get a lot of interaction on Facebook, but you know, it might be if I post it, you guys could share it to your county pages and you know, we can get people conversing. So, and at least having that, yeah. But I do like, you know, I do like the having the Zoom check-ins once in a while so they know that we're still there. You know how people stop at the office just to say hi? Like, you guys all have that? Probably not so much in Clark County, but we all, have, you know, I even have people stop at our office to say hi. And so it is, and I may schedule, depending on how long this goes, I may just schedule some check-ins with all of you. And I know a lot of you are going to be on virtual or be on administrative leave. And I totally understand that, but, um, you know, we just have to be thinking. So, all right. Anything else? Carrie, have you heard anything about national shooting sports contest? Um, they are, they just sent out a survey um, to all the state coordinators asking if, number one, if people are having to cancel their uh, qualifiers, because that's sure. happening a lot, and if we would be sending teams. Um, I haven't responded yet just because I haven't had a chance, but um, they have not said, I mean, there is talk about it. I think they're kind of waiting in the same boat that we are. Um, the national shooting sports training that was scheduled for May has been canceled or has been postponed to fall. Oh, okay. So, um, but I don't know about the contest yet. We okay. have gotten word about what they're going to do. Is that the one in Humboldt, the May one? No, no, no. This is the national 4-H. Oh, national. Contest. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Okay. Yeah. The training in Humboldt, we are still, that one right now I'm moving forward as if we're going to do it. But again, you know, it just all depends on what happens. I think our lives change. Um, they do, it does change hour by hour. I will tell you. So Hopefully things have kind of calmed down at least until that middle of April time frame right now. So, but we were laughing the other day, Shannon and I both made it, we just kind of were joking. It's like, okay, road trip to Idaho or Utah to get our nails done. I know that sounds really funny, but <laughs> it was kind of one of those. It's like, okay, because they're not closed down yet. They will be though. <laughs> I'm just waiting. Oh, that's good to know. I didn't realize that. I yeah, was... yeah. So if anybody wants oh, to make a road trip with us. 
I'm like, hey, we can meet with some 4-H staff and so you can meet with the associate director. We can make it work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, stay off the road and in separate cars. Yes. <laughs> oh. It was, we were just, you know, because you still have to have, you still have to have fun in all of this. Still has to be. And I am quarantining myself because my husband is still working in retail. So his business is considered an essential business because they sell firearms. So he's still working. But that may change. This isn't necessarily an idea for 4 8, but it's a maybe an adaptable idea that I saw over the weekend. So um, Saturday was World Down Syndrome Day, and um, the one of the national organizations that I'm part of, they had a they premiered a video on um, Facebook and had a dance party. Oh, yeah. So it's like you've got everyone at the same time doing the same thing together, and then you can kind of build this engagement um, of people posting them participating in the dance party. Um, but like if there's something like that, that can be done, some 4-H thing that can be done from home. Um, yeah, I just. Yeah, I, mean, I think that's great. Really cool idea. It really brought people together, like more than just a post helps, but yeah, just yeah. feel like you're part of something together. Yeah. Really One thing I'm going to send out today too is we just got the information about, so the, the, um, Legacy Awards, if any of you are familiar with those with the National 4-H Council, that is where they honor a volunteer, or not a, a an alumni. Um, they have a big, you know, like it's usually some celebrity, like a couple years ago, it was Aubrey Plaza. It's been Ann Burrell, um, the other, uh, oh gosh, um, the other um, cook for Food Network, Carla, and I can't think of Carla's last name. Anyway, and then they also do the Youth in Action Award winners that night. Well, normally, you know, we don't get to participate in that because it's in DC and it's, you know, they also do the National Hall of Fame at that event as well, I believe. No, no, sorry, I'm wrong. Um, but they are doing, um, they are now doing that virtually. So everybody will get to participate. So um, at least, you know, it's not necessarily a, a dance party, but at least people could see what happens at the national level for 4-H. But I like that idea, Mallory, and I may pass, pass that on to, you know, even like, how cool would that be to do something nationally if we had the capacity to do that? Yeah, that's what I think made it really cool is that it was, yeah. was the national um, organization. It was, it was Gigi's Playhouse, so they could even go look at it. Yeah. Um, was the, the national, their national Facebook page hosted the party, but then you had all of the, which would basically be like the state 4-H's or the county 4-H's, mm -hmm. you had all of the local sites who were sharing it on their pages and getting their network to participate yeah. in it and, um, so yeah, it, it, I think this is definitely something that would be more of a national thing. And they put together this, this video. Um, so it's like, you're all together watching the premiere of it, mm -hmm. having a dance party after. Yeah, cool. I will share that with, um, with my contacts. They just, I got something the other day because of a, one of the committees that I'm on and they're getting ready to release it. So, or they're asking, they have some kind of survey that, um, they're trying to find some resources and some things to help. So I will look at that, but I will definitely share. I think that's a cool marketing piece that they could do. I don't know if they have created a new car, a new um, commercial yet or not, but they might be able to do something. Mm -hmm. And this video too, they, they whipped together because of COVID-19. So they even kind of like addressed just feelings and <laughs> in the video. Oh, yeah. It was applicable to what's going on right now. Oh, cool. Um, yeah. It was also, it wasn't just a dance party, it was a spreading three acts of kindness. So then, oh, okay. were, yeah. So maybe that's something, you know, maybe we could, because we look at our contribution all the time, and maybe that's something they could do is some kind of contribution, yeah. you know, some kind of service project, and then have, you know. So, yeah, I like that idea. Thanks. 
Cool. Other, okay. Anything else? I like everybody's young children that are awake and moving around. Mine is still in bed. <laughs> I told him to go to bed by 1.30. I don't know if it happened or not. I was asleep by 1.30, but. What happens when they get older? Exactly. <laughs> he's, he's such a teenager right now. But, and they're still on spring break, so I don't feel guilty about him not doing schoolwork. <laughs> so they still have another week of spring break. So, yeah. Yeah, the shelter, shelter dogs and cats. I think that there's just a lot of things that we could, that we could get playing or, you know, we could think about. So if anybody has ideas that we could do a statewide service project, let me know. We got time. I think most families are being inundated with, like Alex said, with so much information. And in a couple of weeks, that's gonna, that's gonna taper off, I think. And so, you know, if we came out with some things for them to do in a couple of weeks, I think that would be good. So. All right, well, I will let everybody go. If you guys have other ideas, please send them to me. Um, you know, I'll add them to the list and share them with every, you know, with staff. So what I'm gonna do now, um, yeah, it's cleaning trails or some sort of out, outdoor activity. Now, the one thing I am hearing that our parks, and I noticed it myself, parks are packed with people because they're trying to get kids out but they're all going to the park, which doesn't do our social distancing very well. <laughs> so yeah, cleaning um, trails would be a great, you know, all kinds of things. So I've got the chat. I will keep these ideas and maybe we can do some kind of little voting on what we want to, you know, if we want to do a statewide service type project. So. All right, well, like I said, we can, um, I will keep in touch if anybody, you know, if you guys need me, you know, you know, I've got my cell phone on at, you know, here at the house, I've got my email on, so feel free to get a hold of me. We're all gonna be just working all kinds of fun stuff. Yeah, outdoor activities with social distancing, I, it's crazy, but, there was, I had two, there were two soccer teams practicing on Saturday. I was kind of appalled, but one was adult men and, you know, they're smart enough, but some days. And the other ones were um, a group of teenage girls. So I don't know, not listening. So, but if not, then I will let you guys go. And like I said, I will keep checking in with everybody. Just to make sure everybody's doing okay. Thank you. Yeah, thank you guys. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Hey, Carrie, hey, Carrie, this is Jeff Beckford. I just jumped on. Yep. Oh, hey, I, I'm on that new device I was telling you about and I'm just playing with. So I okay. thought I'd jump on and see what you look like. Okay. And this is, this is what I look like. Oh. <laughs> and, uh, Hope you guys don't mind me crashing your party. Sorry. Yeah, you're good. Uh, we actually are just finishing. Well, and I, that's why I thought I'd join in now because yeah. it's kind of wild. Um, well, I shot you that link and this is what I look like and I'm sitting about 30 feet away from it. Mm -hmm. And you know, you can zoom in, zoom out. Hey, sorry guys. Like I said, I'm just playing around with her. <laughs> playing around with oh, you're her. good. You're good. But but this is this is this is something maybe we can leverage in our remote offices like White Pine. I'm looking at and others. So all right, yep, cool, cool. All right. Well, hey, right. I'm I'm around too. And hey, I heard you say something about how you could connect. Does everybody have Teams too? Because Teams is really nice because you can IM people when they're online. Yeah, and if for you don't staff. Have... Yeah, I think staff yeah. probably all should have it. You know, I can ask that. Okay. I don't know if many of us know how to use it. Well, you know, if nothing else, it's kind of like Skype for business where you can IM folks and things like that. Uh, and uh, 
I know uh, Liz Berry asked me about, hey, Jeff, do we have a um, method to do conference calls with people? And I said Zoom can do that. So make sure you got your Zoom accounts if you if you want to do things like that. Mm -hmm. uh, gosh, Karen, I'm, I'm crashing your party. I'm sorry. I just want to see. So you're good because I did learn the other day that freeconferencecall.com now does – you some people get charged for it now. So. Ooh. Yeah. I'm being charged like one cent a minute now when I log in on my cell phone. Oh my goodness. Yep. I'm playing around with the camera now. Can you tell? Yeah. You guys all get to see the messy um, storage. Well, sort of storage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm in the 4 storage room, except that's my bouncy ball up there. Um, None of that is mine. Only the stuff on that table is mine. Everything else is someone else's. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> what is it? What is he using? It's a new. It's it's new camera. What's the yeah, camera, it, Jeff? Is it the one with the wide angle? Yeah, let me let me zoom in and share. So, um, Polycom has come out with this device, and it's called the Studio Series. It's it's what they're going to be replacing all their technology with. And so I can't show you on 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 on. But it's like a, it's really cool. I'm playing with the touch panel to call into the meeting. I can host, I can host Zoom meetings, um, or I can host Poly meetings. So it's like the best of both worlds. So that's why I'm playing with it because, um, well, we need everything, right? We just need to make it easy. So right. um, it's different a, than the one that Noel was playing with last week. Okay. Uh, or the week before. Yeah, Noel okay. was playing with the owl. Um, I took my owl down for Noel to play with. Right. Okay. Is, it's it's cool though because if it has Polycom and Zoom on both, that's excellent. Yeah. This one is just the 360 microphone and then the or 360 camera, which is there, and then the microphone. Oh, yeah, that's neat. So. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. It's really neat. I've I've got the little ability like I you guys started to chat and I hit this chat uh, icon on the uh, window. And I can see the chats going on the screen now. Um, I can pop people out of the meeting if you don't want them in here. Uh, it's creepy. Anyhow, anyhow. All right. Hey, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to crash the party, but I wanted to just test it and dial in. And, um, yeah. Since I'm, you knew we were having a meeting. Yeah. Hope you don't mind. <laughs> oh, no, you're good. All, All right. right. Thanks, I'm guys. Have a good one. Yep. How are your mom and dad doing, Sharon? They are hanging in there. Good. This isn't going to be easy with them. So. No, no, I keep thinking about that. I have a good friend of mine here in Reno that her mom is in hospice care. Oh. And like, and she can't go see her. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. So I, my mom, I had to tell my mom the other day, you have to stop letting people come in the house, mom. They might look healthy, but we don't know that. So exactly, exactly. We'll stop yeah. by to visit. And that was fine. I mean, this was all last week, but I'm just like, you you now have to just take precautions and yep. you know, yep. and thank goodness she's still not driving, so she just can't get in the car and take off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So and, and I mean they're I they're having a hard time understanding everything, but it, you know, it's just it's gonna be tough with them. So I'm yeah five miles one direction so you know the opposite direction from them so I just I can't just make it the mad dash the other day she she called me and she said I need raisins from the store and I said put it on your your list because it'll be sometime this week when I can go get them for you <laughs> oh yeah 90, 90 and 91 they're hanging in there so oh, I keep telling my parents you need to quit going places like but they're still working because their business is still open and they can't. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, Idaho hasn't seen any of what, you know, we've seen, but I think it's coming. Yeah. Though. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, if you live in Blaine County, mm -hmm. you have to self-isolate. Like they are not letting people in and out of the border because they've had like 17 cases just in Blaine County. Oh, wow. Wow. So, um, they're telling people do not go into Blaine County and do not leave Blaine County. Like, right. <laughs> but no. And, Caldwell County County just had their first their first case over the weekend. So oh boy. I'm like, okay, mom, dad, quit. Like you can go to work and go home. But like their parts store won't deliver, they won't get out of the car and go in anymore. And I'm like, well, I think they're gonna have to because dad does have a disability and he can't get up every time he has to, you know, because he has problems. Right. He has neurop neuropathy. 
You're right. Yeah. Um, and so I'm like, they're going to have to do something. Right. But yeah. it's all the fun stuff. <laughs> right. I know. Well, my dad, he's had an infection. So we've, I, we're knock on wood, something, knock on something here. Yeah. Um, I think we're at the end of that, but we'll, we'll see. Um, yeah. oh. has health services. So they, somebody does come into the house to check him. Um, good. So anyway, good. and then their shower person, the shower person showed up the other day and she was all suited up and had her mask and everything on. And my mom was like, um, she goes, we have to do this to protect you and to protect ourselves, you know? Yep. So exactly it's yep. a smart thing to do right now my yes, husband still doesn't understand the concept of it i'm like well better <laughs> i'm nagging on him <laughs> i know mine is like it's not that big of a deal oh yes it is it may not be a big deal for you but it is for everybody else around us so yes yeah yeah so yep so we're getting there so all right well, hang good in luck. there <laughs> okay, you too. Take care. Thanks, Bye. guys.